Back everyone from pages to the screen. The award winning novel Out of My Mind follows a bright young girl who won't let her health disorder define her life. Cincinnati native and author Sharon Draper is here to talk about the movie adaptation of her best selling book. First of all, thank you so much for being here and congratulations. Well, thank you. This I'm is, delighted to be here. This is incredible. So Disney Plus is working on this adaptation. Yes. And you've already seen so much success from this book out of my mind. Millions of copies sold, yes. awards. Is it a little different though when you get to be there on set and see something you came up with in your mind now being turned into a movie? It's a little it's a little disconcerting to see <laughs> what what they have done with it, you mm -hmm. know, but they're doing a wonderful job. I get to fly to Toronto. I got to be on set. I, I had my own little chair with my name on it. It was so cool. And I got to, um, you know, to watch the process, the, the, the repetitions, the cameramen, the details, the, the way that the attention to detail that they have done. Mm -hmm. They've done a really good job of bringing the story to life. You're a pro here now when you come into the studio. <laughs> For people who are not familiar with this story, tell us a little bit about Melody, this young girl yeah. who's the star of this book. Out of My Mind is um, a bright young lady, probably the smartest child in her class, but nobody knows it because she can't walk, she can't talk, she can't communicate, and so people assume, everybody except for her mother and her next door neighbor mm -hmm. and people who know her will assume that she has no intelligence at all. Her mother takes her to doctors who gives her blocks to play with and she tosses them aside mm -hmm. and they say, oh, she doesn't even know how to play with blocks. She's mm -hmm. like, uh, seriously, I was actually reading what you had written on your wall. You know, so right. she, uh, she's frustrated and mm -hmm. finally by the end of the story they discover that she, yes, has intelligence and yes, she's um, you know, she's probably the smartest child in the class. She makes the quiz team, mm -hmm. which is the national team to compete, you know, in New York City right. on the quiz team. And um, they leave her behind because they're just a little bit embarrassed of having her as part of the team. And um, so how she manages to survive heartbreak and still come out victorious is the, is the rest of the story. And she has cerebral palsy. Yes. And I know that part of the production team includes several members of yes. this community. Do you feel like that was really important or an integral part of this production to make sure this story is portrayed accurately? Yes, they had a worldwide search for the actress to play the part. She's 11 years old, she's mm -hmm. brilliant, and she has cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. she's in a wheelchair, and um, I had lunch with her and her mother, and she's the smartest child I've ever met in my life, and uh, she plays the part beautifully. I, I've been so curious. Do you, I know you were on set that day in Toronto. How much say do you get in this movie? Do you get any say? Do they come asking you questions? No, none <laughs> at all. They showed me everything. Uh -huh. Okay, this is how we're going to show this scene, and this is how that we're going to show this scene. They they had a they rented a whole school, a real mm -hmm. elementary school, and so all the school scenes look like a real school because it really is. The right. cafeteria scene is filmed in a real cafeteria. The lockers are real. The the halls, the outside of the school, the basketball court, everything is real, and um, the, the and the the kids were brought in. They, they was, these mm -hmm. were local children who were brought in who auditioned for the parts right. and got the various parts of the children in the book. And you said they've been so good with the details for it. One last question. We don't have much time. Any word on when it's going to release? I do not know. Okay. Um, I know that they are starting filming of the second book, which is called Out of My Heart, ah, very soon. Amazing. <laughs> so. That is awesome. Congratulations, Sharon. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank we'll you. We'll keep you updated on when we find out that it will be airing. But in the meantime, Out of My Mind and Out of My Heart, the books, you can get those, of course. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me.